I'll bring him up. It's alright. Gets in. Okay, I just said, like, I just, I'm just bugging you because Jeez. you complained about something earlier this afternoon when you're <laughs> pushing buttons and I'm going, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, did that thing print? Um, yeah, we'll check on that. Sorry about everybody, me? but I just want to explain really quick what happened. Uh, I what can, happened? I'm at the computer right now that controls everything in this show. Oh, and aren't you important? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, my computer just froze. I got the little rainbow on my mouse, and so we had to just oh, do a little sucks. force quitting. And now we're back. But you guys, Thank don't you forget, Jack. you can go to facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy and interact with everybody here and all the other live casters. Right behind Max. There you go, Shan. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, so. I don't know if anything is there. Nothing, Nothing came Nothing. out. Ugh. <laughs> is, is that on? Is it on? That's okay. Forget it. Forget it. Was it a snarky sign? We can try and pull it out. I mean, no, 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 no. You no? can just get Linda. Hey, who's, whose mic is messing up? It's not me. It was just Shannon's while she's walking. Okay. Focus. Focus. Um, do you know... Uh, here, let me just show you this picture. I was going to say this. All right. Okay. You can take this picture. Shannon, you should look at the screen. Do you know who that is? Yes. <laughs> is this your sad name? That's, yes, that, that, that's sad obviously news. Elmo and the voice of Elmo. His name is Kevin Clash. That guy seems too young to me to be the voice of Elmo. No, he's amazing. Shannon has even interviewed Elmo when, when Kevin was, oh, when Kevin oh, yeah, was yeah, there. That's why it's I know very it. cool. Right. It's very cool, right? Well, the New York Post is reporting that Kevin, the puppeteer who, who works Elmo, has taken a leave of absence from his work on Sesame Street in the wake of allegations that he had a oh God, sexual relationship with a 16-year-old boy. Uh, but they're just allegations now. You they're only allegations. You can't convict somebody. No, I'm them. only saying. Elmo? I'm <laughs> saying. No, he did not have the sexual relationship with, with Elmo. Elmo. No, it's At Elmo. At least we, I don't think he did. It's Elmo. We it's don't know Elmo. if he did. Hey, where there's what's the saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, yeah. I know he holds a particular place in Shannon's heart because she interviewed him, and we've talked about her interviewing him and how cool he is. And I've seen a there's a thing on Netflix about him. Yes, mm-hmm. it's very the cool. Think about just think about this. Think about it in these terms. How many countless Penn State football fans leapt to Jerry Sandusky's defense when these came out saying, they're just allegations. Right, Shannon. They're just allegations. No, just here in San Diego, a teacher was accused, and then he was arrested, and a day later, later they let him out because they didn't have enough proof. Yeah. Because they didn't have enough proof. Mm. Not because no, he was innocent, necessarily. I think it might have been because he was innocent. No, I mean, Shannon's right. So here's the deal. Of course, there's instances where uh, Kevin the has, Kevin fails, has, uh, has admitted to having a relationship with this guy oh. after he turned 18. Oh, we didn't say that. Though the kind of relationship uh, apparently remains unclear. Is he an uh, out-of-the-closet homosexual? I don't know. Or is this like Shannon, a revelation? Did you talk about that I, when you interviewed him? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, Elmo, how long have hey you... Hey, Kevin. <laughs> hey, Kevin, I have a question from over here behind the camera. Yeah, guys or girls? <laughs> not, that there's anything, not that there's anything wrong not with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This, in the wake of the, uh, what's his name, Max? Who? Sandusky? Not Sandusky. The, uh, the inappropriate CIA relationship. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Petraeus. Interesting. Talk about Any it. other country in the world, this would just be non-news. This guy well, would not have this. to Well, except this. I have to say this. I, I, look, I, I understand, look, I understand this stuff happens. I understand it's on a personal relationship, has nothing to do with his job. Mm-hmm. Forget the fact that maybe, infor- you know, they always, that, one of the things they talk about is, you know, when you're lying in bed at, after, after <sighs> smoking maybe, <laughs> that the main person is going to divulge all sorts of information. Oh, did you know that we're doing this in Afghanistan tomorrow afternoon? I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't imagine that. Forget that. I just believe that a person in that position, yes, he's human, yes, things happen, but if it happens to Larry, the director of operations at a, at a, at a steel company, it's a little different than if it happens to the head of the CIA. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I believe he has to be held to a higher standard. You guys, meaning males, yeah. have 
a week screw up in the brain for sure. Because it's none, the power none of the of vagina you, is what it is. <laughs> and we can't, we can't can help except ourselves. Except for you. Thank you, love. <laughs> I, it's just completely insane to me mm-hmm. that these It's men and... And, and they, they, they ultimately know there's, they're going to get caught right. and there's going to be consequences. Yeah. But you just can't stop. It's just the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest it thing is. to me. Right, let's just let me say, you guys possess something that is ridiculously powerful. <laughs> we can't help ourselves. No, I, I think it's beyond that. I think it's what you have that you think is so powerful. <laughs> no, well, I have to say, in the in the General Petraeus case, clearly he was powerful. Talk about power, true. Because she was pretty good looking, and he's not that great yeah, looking. And she's his biographer. She was absolutely there because she was sleeping with a powerful man. Am I right? Maybe there's something about a guy in that position that is just so sexually attractive to women they can't help themselves i didn't know she was married until the news th- this morning oh she's married as well she's married she yeah. was supposed to celebrate her, her 40th, 40th birthday birth. party saturday oh, and her husband sent out uh, an email to all the guests like wednesday or tuesday and said oh we won't be ha- we won't be having the party this week oh, but so here's the question though yeah. what does that say about us that in, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing in France or, um, I don't know, in Western Europe or probably in most what? places in Europe and maybe Asia, it wouldn't be a, an, an extramarital affair, wouldn't be seen as a Let disqualifying me, uh, thing for an office. Perhaps I'll say it like this, Max. Uh, <laughs> in France... Uh, That's encouraged. That gets you votes, We actually. all understand <laughs> that, uh, how you say this, uh, you are uh, a, a, a attractive to the opposite sex. <laughs> And uh, the more uh, women that a man has at that power level makes him even better, more important, more impressive <laughs> to the, all the smaller people around him. Oh, if God. I can say to the people around me, I have had sex 75 times this week and I'm still married and not sex with that woman, then people will say, well, fantastic. I love, good for you. You are important. Go ahead, lead my company. <laughs> really? Yeah, hey, right. Becky's got a great point. She says, he's the head of the freaking CIA and he can't even keep his marriage. <laughs> his affair uh, Seriously. Well, now what's, yeah, I know. He couldn't, uh, apparently the FBI stumbled upon it. Stumbled upon Not it. even trying to. Because wait, somebody was sending threatening emails one woman was sending threatening emails to another woman. Yeah, I believe so. And I just don't remember who it was. I know there's a, th- there's a second woman involved in this. It's interesting that it all what came out right after the election. You know why we're talking about this? Why are we talking because about this? Because of Shannon's friend, oh, yeah. Kevin, who... The puppet master. <laughs> the, my I, friend. This led us into this conversation. <laughs> oh, he, he's friends with just about... Oh, I was going to say something Shane, really terrible. Stop supporting. <laughs> stop supporting. Elmo has the guy. been friends with. Hey, I have a question. So, yes. uh, Shannon, get a close up of my phone. I, I don't care if you see the other whatever apps I have. It's no big deal, all right? Who cares? Do you see this green app right here? Do you see where I'm pointing? Yes. Can you see what that app is? Find iPhone. Find my phone. Mm hmm. Okay. Can you show my. Why do I need find my phone app on my phone? <laughs> oh, it's right here. I can no well, because I can, I'm, I'm gonna school you. I don't right know where now. my phone is. Let me f- use the app. Oh, oh, it's in my hand. Guess what? Okay, I guess well, they should have renamed. There? I guess they should have renamed the app because basically it's find my Apple device. You can use that app on your phone to find your iPad, find your Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, Anything. find a different iPhone. Travis used my phone to find his phone when he left. Yeah, it there you go. No, I understand oh. that. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah. I actually used my computer today to find my yeah, phone. Yeah, so the app should be find my Apple device. That, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Not find my iPhone. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that's stupid. Hey, Lynn, you got that video? Yeah, well, first, one of the fans in the chat sing, say you should have or try the food spotting app, which I've actually never heard of, but then... What's the food spotting app? I don't what know. is the food spotting app? I don't know. For it. Is it something like Urban Spoon, maybe? Urban Spoon is amazing, by the way. If anybody doesn't have Urban Spoon out there... But it's just restaurants, right? Yeah, it's but, I mean, it's if, if you're traveling, you're anywhere. You can find it. Um, I don't, you know what? I'm a little suspect of some of these food 
uh, restaurant rating apps mm-hmm. like Yelp. Like in general, I like Yelp. In general, I feel like you can, you know, you take 600 votes and it gives the restaurant a four. I think you're probably pretty safe eating there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I don't like is when I see people writing on Yelp. This place sucked. Didn't like the food, blah, 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 nah, 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 nah. and I can't stand Ethiopian food. Oh, it's an <laughs> Ethiopian restaurant. <laughs> it's and true, they give man. it a one. Well, why yeah. did you go? Why do you rate it? That, see, that to me doesn't make sense. And it can really hurt small businesses when they're just it starting It can really out. hurt oh, small yeah. businesses. Like right, right away, you know? Oh, yeah. We were supposed to stay in a hotel when I shot this AT&T thing last week, and one of the, one of the guys up there suggested this hotel. I go online, hotels.com, and one other site give it a 1.5 out of 5. Wow. And? I didn't stay there. Oh. Oh, really? And he kept saying, no, it's a cool, groovy place. Okay, I'm not a hipster. (laughs) I might not appreciate some of the things that I don't have a beard, and I don't wear a a fedora or a pork pie hat. (laughs) You really should. Uh, you should. I think it'd be not. funny. I don't wear that. I don't do that. I think what's well. important to understand when you're using apps like Yelp yeah. or Urban Spoon is that you can't take anything at face value. You need to do a little bit of digging on your own and use multiple sources. You can't just trust one. You can't just look at the top review. And no, that's probably true. It's like anything. What's like grading on a, a curve, little, right? Exactly. You got to yeah. get rid of those uh-huh. on the sides. You have to do that. Mm-hmm. So... Um, we know F- Fixtures Living is a uh, sponsor of the show. Mm-hmm. We've loved them for a long time. We know that they're an amazing place. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. And I don't think that I'm... Well, we've had somebody on this show that's going to do something with them, and I don't know if I should talk about it yet. Mm-hmm. Just say, it's just cool getting cooler. That's a good way to put it. Yep. If you're nice. at the point where you're thinking about maybe doing some stuff in your kitchen or your bathroom or your home, and you're not sure if you want to do it, uh, just go. Forget going to the store. Just peruse them on the internets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go to fixtureslivingcom and check out the cool things that are there. There's categories there. There's equipment there. There's products there. You can see the things that they have. And then if you want to take the next step, sort of going to second base with the store, then you would go to Fixtures Living. They're in San Diego. They're in Costa Mesa. They're in Rancho Mirage. You can see the stuff live. You want to go to third base, you would talk to their people who know, wow, I cannot believe that I'm equating the (laughs) sexual bases with going to a store. I thought we were talking about baseball, dude. But you you can start simply without any commitment online. Then get a little further by going, and then get a little bit further in by talking to... Actually, Shannon, I'm not even going there yet. Oh. Sorry. Go a little bit further by talking to the people in the store who you'll be blown away at how much they know Mm -hmm. and how they just want to help you figure out the way that you want to live or cook or be in your home. That's how they are. They're the Macy's in the movie Miracle on 34th Street. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Of... uh, Kitchen, bath, outdoor stores. We love them. And coming soon for all you zonies, the Glendale store. Oh, wait, Glendale, California. Never mind. What, Sorry. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> but they are opening in Arizona soon, right? Wait. No. Wait a second. Did you just say for all you giants? For all you zonies, I said. Oh, zonies. Yeah. Because there's a Glendale, Arizona. There is a Glendale, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I didn't see the CA. Sorry. Um, but that's not why I'm talking about fixtures. I'm talking talking? about fixtures because their director of marketing, Maria, who is a, is becoming a very good friend of ours. We, I go fixtures Fridays. We hang up. Uh Oh, I can call Kelly over there. She's making noises. I hear the noises already. So I don't know how this started. I posted, I know how it started. I posted a, a picture of myself unhappy on my Facebook. What was that for Kel? We had a, I, uh, oh, I know what it was. A really it was for not the live cast, for the fucked cast. <laughs> wow. It was a difficult, it was a <laughs> rough night. Yeah. It was a rough night. And the live cast dude. didn't go well. Oh, man. <laughs> We've almost come to blows a few times. I, okay, <laughs> let's not go there now. Anyway, I post this picture. Can we show my face? Yes. So I show my face, my down bottom right hand corner, right? Oh, then Maria above me 
and Ted beside her take pictures and send them back. <laughs> and Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, so Maria takes all these four pictures and puts them together. She writes, one of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. So which one doesn't belong? I'm going to guess that what doesn't belong is Kelly. Oh, God. And when she put this up the other day, we looked at this. Kelly and I looked at this and went, oh you know who, do you know who you look like? <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Show it, Lynn. Yeah. Oh, uh, the other God. one. Wait, no? yeah. The other one. You oh, look like. No. Uh, should we show this? Yes, show it. Oh God, oh, this Lynn, is so. Show weird. it. No, no, no. It's the so Wicked oh, Witch. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Lynn, are you responsible for actually finding that photo? Oh, you really think Lynn would do that to you? No. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I. It's a little too mean for me. So what that that caused? If you can go back to the the four shot. Uh huh. And the, the picture of Kelly in the four shot, you see the hat a little bit. Right, right. It looks like that <laughs> picture. Look at it. it does. This is the hat. But that sparked a lot of conversation. Was it fair of Maria to put up that picture of Kelly when Kelly doesn't think she looked very... It's not a flattering picture? Is that what well, you Well, I say? never figured it was going to be a flattering picture, but I don't understand why I'm green. <laughs> I don't know why you're green either. I think she either. photoshopped me green. Where did you take that picture? No, no, it's just sometimes your light balance is a little off. But you're right. Everybody's skin tone is pretty much accurate. <laughs> except, for, <laughs> except for you. Like you just ate something that you just... By the way, so here's the lesson. If you go to Fixtures Living, stay away from Maria and her camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Because you'll camera. end up in a really unflattering quad picture somewhere on... <laughs> Her website. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing I have a good self-esteem and a good sense of humor. No, you've got an you have an amazing uh, self-esteem, Kelly. You really do. Hey, we have a quick video that we want to watch uh, from our little trip to the dog park yesterday. Oh, we have a picture of that. We have a, a video. video. So we just set it up first. We went to the dog park. Mm -hmm. uh, me, Kelly, Lucky, and Haley, and Max and Sunny came. And we haven't been to the dog tar park for the long time. And partially because Kelly believes that Lucky is completely antisocial, unsocial. Is. He doesn't want to hang out with anybody. I believe. He's getting a lot better. <laughs> and I have to say, I had a lot of fun. Roll tape. Wait. Yeah? He, before you talk about how much, yes, he was having a lot of fun. Why was he having so much fun? But he humped a lot of dogs. <laughs> he was humping. Oh, and look, at he's he been fixed. A humper. And I know they say it's like a power thing. It's look at him. You wouldn't know it from <laughs> looking at him. him. He's just laying there. <laughs> he humped the same little white dog <laughs> yeah. four times. A dog that looks just, just like slightly him. Slightly smaller than the one, I have video of it. Do you want to see we, it? We joked that yes, we do. Send it to Lynn. We joked that the that Sonny finally found the one dog that he's ever been able to stand was one that looked exactly like him. So basically he fell in love with himself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which stop he's always it. done. I don't know if that's true, Max. Okay, so you'll send, you're going to send that video to Lynn. Um, and then and for right now, it. we'll show, send the video that uh, mom, you took when we were there yesterday. So let's roll it. <laughs> Watch this. Right here. Snoopy, go. That's the white dog he would hunt. Snoopy, go to see. Oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the mouth. You can see the mouth. I can't find this video. He got really excited when he Let's saw it. Let's see it me. again. What? You can hear her go, Snoopy, go. Oh, that was you, Kel? Yeah. yeah. Snoopy, go. Snoopy, go to see. Oh, my God. <laughs> completely and I wiped you out. I went ass over tea kettle. My like, feet were. I was okay, in the let's dirt. see it one more time. Oh, my no. God. It's so great. It's I like love America's it. America's Funniest Home Videos. Uh -huh. with dogs. <laughs> Snoopy, go. Snoopy, go. Snoopy, go to see. Oh, my God. And that little white dog. I don't know where my picture it. is. I don't know where my video is. That's I can't, okay. we'll find I can't it find it in here. But uh, that little white dog was a dog that Humpy... Uh, Humpy. Humpy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. It's got a new name. I feel like Lucky was Humpy. everybody with dogs will understand this, and everybody that doesn't have dogs <laughs> will not understand Wait, how okay, funny I, this is. Well, I think that's probably true. Right, I'd like to pose this question to the dog people. Do, do, you, do you find it upsetting if somebody's dog comes up and starts humping yours? Oh, yes. Because yeah. he was just laughing about it. Who was? And you were laughing yeah. about it. Oh, no. That hey, I, I was, was like, laughing about it. And take a video. A, sure because, he, because he, he got into a power position, which he generally does not do. <laughs> okay, that's his normal move right there, right? Yes. Yeah, Look just, at him. Go yawn a little bit, sweeter. You hate that, though. You got some dirty when, dog No, get it off him, Shannon. Stop it. Stop it. When <laughs> a dog humps him, I can't stand <laughs> it. I hate it. <laughs> 
Right. Well, who wants a dirty dog? It's not that I was. I, was, I wasn't proud of him. I wasn't proud of him. I just was happy to see him out of his shell. Yeah, <laughs> it was exciting. All right, I think it's time to cook. Wait, can we just show that video first? Let me just say this while Lynn's getting the video ready or whoever is. Mm -hmm. Mike Isabella, Top Chef uh, Season 6, Top Chef All-Stars, and of uh, two restaurants in D.C., uh, Graffiato and Bandolero, it will be here, right here, sitting, sitting right here. Show the spot. Right here, right here. Show the spot. Right here, right here. Here we go. <laughs> Right there. He'll be sitting right here Thursday night. He's going to come. He's going to talk. Uh, he's a cool guy. Looking forward to meeting him. I wanted him to win that Top Chef All-Stars. And mm -hmm. he, he didn't. I, he, 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 he came in second. Second, yeah. That's. I think he should have won. It's pretty close. I think it was a coin toss really at the end. But, but that's just me. Uh, it'd be interesting. And he's going <laughs> to cook something. He's going to cook something that will be perfect for Thanksgiving. Sweet. Thankfully, uh, we're in the thanks the two weeks of Thanksgiving here, so it's oh, perfect. Oh yeah, we can get a real chef in yeah. here. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> tool. <laughs> uh, I found this thing online today. Yep. We show the website maybe first. Uh, uh, let's well, let's show the video first. Oh, we show got the video it all first. queued up. Well, okay, check out what this is. Let me grab the website first. Okay, because now the video is not playing. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a it's an electric cocktail mixer. Wow. Which is ridiculous. Interesting. Are you sure this isn't out of Sky Mall? Yeah, pretty much. It's That's not... ridiculous. Well, okay, let's M watch Metro the Metro K, they make all kinds of stuff. Okay. Wait for it. Oh, shit, of course. All right, well. Piece of shit. <laughs> let's try and, okay, let's. I put, I put this on off. Facebook today. I said, dear laziest people in the world. Yeah. Hey Shannon, you should grab cocktail the hour off. just got a lot easier. Um, okay, we well, play. anyway, we're we are. No, okay. So can you <laughs> can't listen play. to me? The video's not working right now. So continue That's the fine. show. <laughs> I was just you. waiting. I was waiting for some word okay. from you guys back there. Okay. Uh. Mm, yes. What are I you have making? a note on my on my computer here. Here's what it says. Don't yeah. take my computer. All it says is old people's feet. Oh my God. Mm. And I'm leaving the supermarket today, and there's a super old guy there with the cane and it's like a wacky outfit. He's got like, not slippers, but like almost slippers on. And those, those sweatpants that go tight right here, right? Yeah. Except they're like up to like here. They're about here, right? Super tight. With the elastic. To expose your hairless legs? Oh, wait, that's just you. Forget about my hairless legs. <laughs> that's just you. From here down is, is barefoot. And it's that weird old, old person color. Mm -hmm. Like in my mind, I'm thinking, has all the blood circulation gone away from there? Or has it gone there? Because you see the super old people sometimes... And they look fine, but when you look down at their feet, they're horrifying. Aren't we going to cook right now? We are. Yeah, I just I can't help it. No, it was pass. it was on my and I'm thinking, you know what? I'll I'll have like like mental lapses, could lose all my hair, it can all go gray, I'll be like getting shorter using the cane. But why do the feet have to go so ugly like that? <laughs> Why it's, do they? It's gross. Yeah, now get in the kitchen because now I'm getting mad. Yeah, I let's, hate that. let's old cook. People. I love that you... I love old people. Just, I just don't get why that happens. Like it's I would like a doctor to tell me how to prevent that. I want to be 89 with great feet still. <laughs> because as we know, I like wearing flip-flops. Yeah, you do. And I'm not going to wear them if my feet are fucking purple <laughs> and veiny and shit. You know, dude, that's yeah. why I don't wear flip-flops, man. You got gross feet? I got terrible feet. Oh, what, when's the last man. time you see me in okay, flip-flops? Wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait. What size, are, what size are those big boys? Thirteens. so stupid. Thirteens. Get in the kitchen. Yeah, let's Time cook. cook. Not only are you running long, but... And Shannon's got a sore shoulder. Sh forget it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have casserole pans that are smaller than your <laughs> shoes, Lynn. 
All right, who's ready to cook? Let's do it. What are you guys are. wasting time uh, for? Not me. We are. Let's just head let's and go. shoot the shit over dirty Let's go. Feet. Let's go. All right, have we talked about what we're making? No. Okay, because I've never made it before. Oh, <laughs> Ever. It's something festive. So here's what I was thinking about. We did, you know, we did the Brussels sprouts, and then we did the, the salad with the butternut squash on it. Both very Thanksgiving-esque. Mm -hmm. I thought, what parts of the Thanksgiving meal do I feel like I'm missing out on? So last year we did the, um, the stuffing omelet that I might do next week just because it's such a staple in our family. You have to do it day after Thanksgiving. Oh, yes. A D-A-T, day after Thanksgiving. Um, no, Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving Day. No, stop it. Or the day after. No, no, stop it. <laughs> um, last year, we also did the, the uh, turkey stuffing Benedict. And I took the stuffing and formed it into like a little patty. And I used it as the, um, the, the English muffin part. And then I did turkey and the poached egg and gravy on top that was delicious. But I felt like we needed one more, another breakfasty-ish kind of thing. And so we're gonna do pumpkin, pumpkin pecan pancakes. That I think sound great. And I what? can't wait for them. That sounds, yeah. They sound really good. That sounds really pumpkin good. Pumpkin pecan pancakes. It and sounds so like something from, from IHOP. It does? Or, uh, it sounds like, yeah, a promotion from IHOP during this time of year. Well, I'm not sure I like to hear that, Max. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well. It's hey. for the everyman, Sam, and that's who you cook for. Well, I cook for the everyman. Right. That's who I cook for. Hey, Thank here's you, our Kelly. Thanksgiving Benedict right here. Oh, All yeah. All you got to do that. is go to the samlivecast.com, type in stuffing or Thanksgiving Benedict, and you guys can see all of our old recipes and shows. But so here's, look, when I make pancakes, um, at the risk of offending, like, pancake enthusiasts, <laughs> I use pancake mix mm -hmm. that's just add water. Really? Yeah, it is what it is. Wait, and as opposed to pancake mix that you... That you need to add butter and, and oil and to and eggs and stuff like that. So Bisquick... Wait, is Bisquick just add water? There, there is a Bisquick just add water. Oh, there is a version. Okay. Right. You know what? Um, it's interesting. I actually have a box of Bisquick at my apartment, and I've been... Um, looking at the recipes on the box, you know, right. how they do that sometimes. Yeah. And I used it and I made um, these crispy chicken tenders baked with like a, you know, a coat on the outside. Really? Like a breaded crust. And then I saw that you can use them, um, use it to make a pizza crust. No, you can use Bisquick, you can do yeah, for a lot of things. Yeah. But here's, what, here's how I feel. I go, look, I want pancakes. I don't want them to take forever. And I usually add stuff to them. I don't think I'm cheating myself by um, using a mix. I really don't. And so look at, see how fast that was? And I didn't measure. I just put, like, you don't need, I don't have the directions anymore on how much water to add for the amount of powder. Mm -hmm. Because I know what, I know what pancake batter should look like. I have a sense of that. Mm -hmm. And this is probably good. So now we're gonna do this. We're gonna add, we're just simply gonna add some uh, pumpkin pie filling. And I want the pumpkin pie filling because I want the little sweet that the pie filling is gonna have as opposed to the uh, just plain pumpkin in, the, um, in a can, right? Your two options when you go to the store for pumpkin or pumpkin pie filling or pure pumpkin. And I, want the, I wanted this one. That's the one I bought for my pumpkin pie. Well, you should. So now what I don't know, because once again, I've never made this, is if this is going to make it too sort of watery, then I'll need to add more... Uh, more dough or more batter. More of, the, more of the battery stuff. Wow, that looks great. That's good. It's a little... It's a little... Um, uh, Oh, I guess water is maybe not the right word, but runny. it's a little runny. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Shan. A little runny. My stove is already on. 
And the beautiful part is you can go from, you know, nothing to making pancakes in literally a couple of minutes, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Barbara Stoner says that she's already been eating a ton of turkey and cranberry sandwiches. Those are my favorite. As she should, right? What you, the, it's, you just take a big roll and just load everything in there. The stuffing, the gravy, the cranberry, the oh turkey. Oh, my God. I love this. Oh, it's the best. Okay. I'm happy. This is working out so far. Hey, do you mind moving the chair off my cord? Thanks. I'm stuck. Wow, Diane, it's looking like she might have t up to upwards of 25 people over for brunch the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, what is she going to make? She, that's what she'd like some Thanksgiving brunch What do you make? By the ideas. way, Wednesday night, we're talking turkey here. Yep. Uh, your turkey options for Thanksgiving. There was a year where you made a deep fried turkey, um, a smoked <laughs> turkey, a turducken, a regular turkey. No, I think that was it. A deep fried turkey. No, you you can't name something twice and count it twice. <laughs> Okay, so look at this is um, these diced pecans. If I put, I could put them in here, but I kind of like adding them on top once they're down on the pan. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And so that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we'll put them in a bowl, so they're easy to they're easy to manhandle there. I have some soft butter here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. Oh, snap. Diane just said, Max, do you keep your Bisquick in the refrigerator? Check the box. It has egg product. I don't, but maybe I should. What, I don't think we ever have powder? either. She says That's it has says. Egg, egg product in it. Oh, she's smoking crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this warm butter. Clearly, this is a pretty easy thing to do, right? Mm hmm That's too hot. It's a cool little method with the brush. I like the brush. Okay, so here. So now, I, I look at, I like small pancakes. Like this. Oh, yeah. John just said another favorite thing that I've made with the Bisquick. What? Garlic cheddar drop biscuits. Okay, so the pancake batter with the pumpkin goes down. We're just going to do a little stack of four of these. Right? Okay. Now we're going to put some of these pecans. And you don't, look, if you don't like pecans, then don't use them. But I think pecans really are a very pumpkin-friendly, holiday-friendly uh, nut. More so than a, than a walnut. And if you don't, only, if you only had peanuts, use peanuts. But okay, but wait, check this out. Hold on, Shen. Back up for fast second. I want to make some maple butter. Shit, 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 shit. Here it is. Okay, watch. So I've got softened butter right here, and I'm just going to add some. Um, well. Syrup. Technically pancake syrup, but maple syrup, I mean, if you had. What's this for? This is for the pancakes. So here's the thing that I could do. You could freeze this uh, and cut it into little chunks so you could deliver it, put it on top. Look at this. I love these guys. <laughs> Look how pretty. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a drag. I shouldn't have done that. That was not. Oh my Isn't God. This funny. Sorry. What'd you say? Go ahead. I didn't say anything. Erica says she's been MIA for months, but she's back and she's so excited. Oh, yeah. Where's and she? hello to Tyler Sweeney. First time watching live. Right. So, what happened? Did we offend Erica? No, she probably and just was had other commitments. Erica, don't feel bad. Trust me, I'm offended every hey, Monday. Not everybody Wednesday can watch. Thursday. Not everybody can watch live. <laughs> it's a miracle I keep coming back. Okay, <laughs> so here's something that I like to do. Oh, wait. Will it work in here? Uh, plate in the microwave. It's a shame to take a hot item like a pancake or eggs or something and put them on an ice cold plate and we haven't really had to do it because the weather's been pretty nice but now it's changed here in San Diego and at least 
today was about 70, but now it's probably mm -hmm. what? 55 outside or something. So warm up a plate a little bit. Use a microwave for that. I do that with my coffee mug in the morning. No, it's a good idea. Mm. How are they looking? They're looking beautiful. Let's see. Oh my God, you should see both dogs right now. <laughs> they are both on their That's backs. That's a pancake. Legs out. <laughs> Why did this side not get oh so... Oh my goodness. It looks like, yeah, a murder scene. I know, I sure. can't even... <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. I'm going to want these guys already. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can smell. Oh, and see when you turn them over, look what happens here, Shan. <laughs> With the nuts. Yeah, they get baked in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just oh, trying to get a little yummy. color on these two guys. Oh, Denise says never press a pancake. Sam doesn't like criticism. Denise, are you crazy? I would oh, never. Oh. What is she talking about? Did you press it? Huh? Did you press it? Okay, sure. Hey, that's cool. Uh, Erica says, I'm totally not offended. I've been super, super busy, of course. Really excited for you guys to have Mike Isabella on the show. I frequent his restaurants here in D.C. all the wow. time. Wow. That's cool. She's a D.C. girl. Yum. And so what these need now is this. This little maple butter. <laughs> Lynn. Lynn goes, <laughs> oh, geez. syrup butter. Oh, my God. I can smell it back here. Oh, I smelled it too just now. It's the syrup butter. If that, I like pancakes, I would love those. <laughs> look, I'm telling you. You don't oh need my to. God. Here's, 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 that, here's that a line. That, look, oh. one of the lines I use all the time is this. I want to eat well. I don't want it to take forever. I don't feel bad. I don't feel like I'm shortchanging me or my friends or my family by using a just add water mix. I don't. I don't have to mix flour and baking soda and baking flour and whatever all that shit is. I don't have to do that. This was how, how what is this, five minutes? If I wasn't talking, I could have banged these guys out in no time. And that's just this said. one bite right here, that's what she said. Oh fuck, come on, please. I'm sorry. Nice little pumpkin taste. Delicious little maple. Nothing's overwhelming. Mm. The crunch from on top and inside the pancake itself. This is absolutely majestic. You have to make this. Thanksgiving morning, which I guess would be the 23rd, Thanksgiving morning? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's the 22nd. Thursday the 22nd is Thanksgiving. No, New Year's Eve no, is the 31st. New Year's Eve morning is the, is the first. No, Sam, Thanksgiving period is the 22nd. There's no Eve, you don't do anything, you don't do anything the next day, it's the 22nd. You wake up, you wait for your family so that they can come in and eat Everything that you slave for you. 24 hours, you. and they watch football. Trust me. Thanksgiving Day morning, you want these. You also want no. the stuffing omelet. Make stuffing omelets and make these. You do that on the, the day And after. make the Bloody Mary that we've done on this show with the Clamato juice. Unbelievable. All right, thank you for being here. Wednesday night, we're talking turkey. <laughs> talking turkey. <laughs> You're That's an expression. Turkey. We're talking oh, turkey. And then Thursday night, turkey. we've got Mike Isabella here. It's a good week. And it's the last week before Thanksgiving week. And therefore, the last week before Thanksgiving Day Eve night. <laughs> See you Wednesday. Goodbye.